ICRW's research on HIV stigma has identified three main actionable drivers of stigma lack of awareness, fear of HIV infection, fear of socio-economic ramifications. These drivers are facilitated by individuals, communities, institutional policies and laws, and cultural norms. Through appropriate intervention and scale-up, these drivers can be altered. To understand how this can be done, ICRW evaluated an intervention in five different settings education, workplace, panchayats, female sex worker groups, healthcare services. In each setting, ICRW defined appropriate entry points, understood how stigma operates in that specific context, developed an implementation mechanism identified the most sustainable approach. This film captures the different drivers of stigma and changes brought about by the intervention in the voices of a few of the participants. हमारे जैसा संसार में उन लोगों के लिए अलग फील करते हैं अलग ही थोड़ा जगह छोड़ देते हैं हम लोग ये सारा दुनिया में फैलते रहते हैं जब भी जब चाहे जहाँ चाहे जा सकते हैं आ सकते हैं खाना सकते हैं पीना सकते हैं सो सकते हैं उन लोगों के लिए हम हम लोगों में शामिल नहीं करते हैं उन लोगों के अलग जगह जे देते हैं उन लोगों के टच नहीं करते हैं ये कि वो थोड़ा मनुष्य जाति नहीं ऐसा करके फील करते हैं चाहिए लोगों के साथ जो सोच थी एचआईवी पेशेंट्स के बारे में कि देर बार पीपल उनसे बात नहीं करनी चाहिए उनसे अलग रहना चाहिए जो फीयर्स थे कि एचआईवी सलाइवा से स्प्रेड होता है बहुत सारी जो फैक्टर्स थे डर था जिनसे कि कांटेक्ट से फैलता है एचआईवी बहुत सारे डर थे जो एक और जो बहुत सारे टॉपिक्स थे जिनके बारे में हम खुल के बात नहीं कर पाते थे Like we we met the transgenders, we met the hijra community. So I was completely nil about it. I didn't know anything about these people. In fact, I have never interacted with them. I just saw them from a distance. I never met them. So when I went there, I had a couple of questions. The most important question was, why are they like this? Why are they like this? Why are they not like us? I treated them to be abnormal. To be very honest. I chose these transgenders because uh, I have met them before in the trains. And you know, I I had a very uh, negative experience of them. I was uh, prejudiced against them. I can say that. Over a period of six months, the interventions included sensitizations, exposure visits, including interactions with vulnerable populations and people living with HIV, reflective thinking, introspection in groups, community campaigns. I had a thought as to. Uh, what sort of people they would be because I have never been come across a homosexual person as I went there I the there was a warm welcome they they got so much familiar to us by the end of the day that there was nothing indifferent uh, between us that made me just uh, think about only one thing that who I mean they are just as same as we are there is nothing indifferent between us then who are we to accept them or reject them just as they are i won't say i have completely changed as my ideologies but then there is a seed which is grow sown into me and i am sure it i am nurturing it and it will grow into a plant and a tree because um, religious boundaries which is to make me not to think beyond my comfort zone and uh, you know the social upbringing which also um, you know uh, working as a barriers 
not to think beyond what what I experienced in the field. So all this now after this field experience, I I need not bother about what others think. It's me and my thinking, my choice of uh, relating to whom I want to relate, and my choice to support whom I want to support. Educated हो मैं भी डी डिग्री पास हो फिर भी थोड़ा अलग ही था ये सब देखने के बाद थोड़ा चेंज होने के लिए ट्राई करती हूँ नहीं तो वो वही जाती हूँ ट्राई नहीं करती वही जाती हूँ एक लड़की को भी गेट आ गया था वो शादी करने चले गई थी वो वो बात मालूम हुआ है कि ये शादी हो रही है करके वो उसको दो बच्चे हैं मर्द बच्चे दो बच्चे हैं और दूसरे से शादी करने के लिए आ गई बात सब पूरा मालूम करके उसको स्टॉप करते ये ये करते ये करते पंचायत पंचायत की वैसे सहूलत देना का बोला तो उसे एक कौशा था थोड़ा लैंड दे गया जमीन दे के उसे घर की बना गया वो बच्चा को थोड़ा इलम गिलम पढ़ा के दो दो बच्चे हैं उनको सामने इम्प्रूव करने के वास्ते ये करते First, what our plan to do is like, you know, gather the people, uh, NCC students and NCC people, defence people. Even they don't have awareness. They don't know anything about. Even they make fun of such uh, these people. And so, I want to gather these people first because I can approach them. I'm senior under officer, so I can approach them. I can create awareness. What I learn from that, I can share with them. At least through presentation, I can at least to some extent I can change. Their views, what they think about these people, about HIV patients, transgenics. So I can change their thinking. I would like everybody to know about this stigma reduction program. I want a lot of people to join us, and from the college, like now we are dealing in Saint Xavier's College. I want other colleges also to get associated with us, and this should go on a higher level. Yeah, people should talk about it more freely. Participants in these five settings. are implementing programs on a regular basis now to make people aware of how they stigmatize each other they help individuals deal with their own fears and social judgments while developing supportive institutional policies after the exposure program when i came home and i thought about it they just like us in fact i think they are a step ahead they they at least have or you know they made a choice 